All right, so day 15, let's talk about Mimic, which is the 1997 Guillermo del Toro um, horror movie that was distributed by Dimension Films, which is funny. Um, I've always noticed this one in the Dimension Films catalog, and I've never seen it before. Um, I've always wanted to see it. I finally found a three-pack of Mimic 1, 2, and 3 on a, at a pawn shop for like a buck, so I'm like, of course I'm going to do that. I definitely want to see these movies. I... I'm interested to see what they'd be like, but uh, Mimic, the basic plot of Mimic is that these cockroaches that are super powered, um, created through vaccines of kids that were getting killed off um, by cockroaches, and then they, they through all this, it creates these, um, these abnormal, abnormally rapid growing cockroaches that will mimic human beings which is a cool idea and concept for sure um and Guillermo del Toro directs it fine but to be honest I thought this one was pretty boring um I for the most part thought like it's it's a good movie like it's definitely well done but man I just I couldn't really get that invested into it it I just never felt like there was much value in this to watch like I mean I like the idea I like the direction I like I thought that was totally fine. I thought the characters were pretty boring, though. I thought that the griminess of it, the 90s, looked, didn't really, like, work in its in its favor, if that makes sense. I don't know if that made sense at all, but um, it's, it's tense in some moments. It's okay in some moments, but it's really not anything that I really want to watch again. And say... This is without saying that I have not seen Mimic 2 or Mimic 3 yet, which I will watch one day because I'm a completionist. I, of course, love to watch franchises no matter how bad they get or how uninterested I am. I just want to see them to say I've seen them. Um, but this one, I'm assuming, is definitely the best one, obviously. I think the other two are direct-to-video. Um, this one is, like I said, it is really good with the direction. Like Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro does a great job, and I think that it shows how great of a filmmaker he is. I do think that it's a movie that it's not really for me personally in terms of watchability, but I think it's a good movie. I think it's serviceable. Um, but really, it's just one of those horror movies where it's like it's not as much about the horror as about these kind of boring characters, and I just didn't really care about the characters that much. Um, seeing the uh, big bugs, I think, was kind of creepy. But it's funny that they really used more CGI than I expected. I guess I saw way more than I thought um, in the movie. And the shots kind of, you can obviously tell that they're CG. Um, which doesn't really ruin the movie, but it makes the movie like kind of dated in that way. Which is interesting. But um, but yeah, really, really quick review on Mimic. It's not, it wasn't really for me in terms of watchability. But it's a fine movie, but it's just not my thing. So um we'll see what how the other sequels go i'll watch those eventually not for not this month but i will watch them sometimes so um we'll see later but that's it for today really quick review on mimic not much you can really say about it um of course another 31 days of horror tomorrow so see you guys tomorrow take care